Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera uh, We are from group 2 Going to present our group project Which is project of drag car Next is our team members The first one is Ahmad Razin Second is Javier Tan And third one is Nur Atika which is me And the last one is Muhammad Hasif First slide is about introduction uh, Drag car racing is a type of motorcar sport That was invented in the United States and involve two competitors competing side by side across a drag street, a flat street course that is typically 1 over 4 mile, which is 0 0.4 km long. Drag car racing also is a competition of vehicles which is concerned by how fast a car, van and motorcycle can achieve with a limited time. Often times, uh, it is 1 versus 1 which taken place on different type of race track. Remapping is a process that changed the car engine computer, which is formerly known as engine control unit ECU. The objective of this project is to apply fluid mechanic application into the prototype, which is a pump and pipe. Secondly, the second objective in this project is to archive the function prototype by making a good work on design, shape, Launcher, configuration nozzle, and the water to air ratio. Uh, last but not least, apply the fluid mechanic equation and theories to calculate the pressure, velocity, mass flow, and uh, force that are associated with the track car operation. There is some problem statement that happen while doing this project. The track car has not been tested enough first before this competition. Second, the launcher is not made neatly. There is some leaking on the spark pump that made the launcher not uh, work 100%. Third, pump is not suitable for the launcher. Four, the design of the car is also simple. And number five, the car is not launching straightly. For literature review, this literature review focus on the track car water bottle. This aiming to explore existing research and knowledge related to track car and their impact on vehicle performance. This review aiming to identify key finding and gap in the literature to inform the development of as efficient and effective water bottle system for track car. Assalamualaikum. My name is Ahmad Razim bin Ahmad Fauzi, metric number CN201188. I'm going to proceed on methodology. The first one is design details. In order to minimize drag and assure stability, the drag car water bottle design should prioritize aerodynamic efficiency and stable attachment. It should be sleek lightweight and have integrated mounting points. Furthermore, an anti-spill design may improve the drag car team's usefulness and convenience. From the photo below, you can see the water bottle drag car from top view, from side view, front view, and also the launcher that has been used during the event. Next is theoretical equation applied in the design. Uh, the first equation that has been used is converting pressure in PSI to Pascal by multiplying the pressure in PSI with 6894.757 Pascal. The second equation is nozzle area, which is pi r squared. The third is Pressure equals to force over area. The fourth one is the force applied to counter the friction equals to coefficient of friction multiplied by weight. The fifth equation is force equals to mass times acceleration. And the last equation is distance equals to initial velocity multiplied with time plus with half a t squared, where a is acceleration and t is time. 
Next is cause impact. The goal of this section is to give a review of the important steps involved in material preparation and cost estimation. The table shows the cost to construct the drag core prototype. There are in total 11 items and the items consist of one unit of 40 mm class O PVC pipe, one unit of 20 mm class 6 PVC pipe, one unit of 40 mm times 2 mm PVC R socket, one unit of 40 mm PVC and cap, one unit PVC glue, one unit 3 over 4 inch PVC ball valve, one unit hand pump, two unit of bamboo stick, four unit of water bottle cap, one unit water bottle and two unit straw. Next, we move on to the results. So we use 80 PSI to lot to pump. So therefore we need to first change PSI to Pascal by multiplying it by 6,894.757 Pascals and we get 551,580.56 Pascals. So after we get the pressure in Pascals, we need to calculate the nozzle area by using the formula pi r square. So once we get that answer, we can find force which equals to Pa, which then we get 43.30 newtons. After that, we weight, we weigh our drag car, which has a mass of 0.3 kg, and a coefficient of friction is 0.15. So with that, we can find Fs equals to coefficient of friction mu times W, and we get 0.44145. So what we have F, we have Fs, therefore we can find the total force, which is 43.30, 43.30 minus 0 0.44145, we get 42.86 newtons. That will be the total force exerted. And with that, we can find acceleration by using the formula force equals to Ma, that we get 142.86 meter per second square acceleration. Once we have that, we can you we can substitute all the information that we got into the formula S equals to U T plus one over two A T square. S equals to ten meters. So once we got once we move in everything that we have, we can get the time of zero point three seven seconds. 0 0.37 seconds is the theoretical time taken for the drag car to reach the finish line. With that, the actual time taken to finish is 1.66 seconds. Therefore, this proves that power loss is present during the race because the actual time taken for the drag car is slower than the theoretical time. Next, we move on to the discussions. So for the first one before race day is our design was too simple. This was because we were busy with other assignments and that we weren't able to really commit fully to our car's design. Next is the launcher was not made neatly. This was because we did see everything, but then when it came up to race day we noticed that they were leaking air the launcher was leaking air therefore that was also one of the problems that we discussed and we found out about next is the discussions during race day first of all is our palm was not suitable for our launcher system this is because that the palm that we have is small in size Therefore, it only gave out a low pump rate compared to other competitors who had bigger pumps which lead to higher pump rate. Next is that our car was not able to move in a straight line. We as a group discussed and we found that we think that the wheels were not balanced is the cause of why our car couldn't move in a straight line. Last but not least is our drag our drag car had not been tested enough before 
freeze day. No. Why? It's because due to time constraint, we were not able to have a final test to fix any problems that appear before race day. That is all from me. Thank you very much. I will move, pass it on to my next team member. Next slide is recommendation. We recommend to change the car design and prototype. The red car should be heavy in weight because when the car is heavy, it will be difficult to have an accident or avoid the car to fly. The design of the car must be changed to the aerodynamic shape to get better results in reducing the air resistance and drags. Second one is the drag car's wheel. The drag cars need to be changed to the bigger wheels so that the car will be easy to move faster in a long direction and can make the car more balanced when it moves. The last one is the launcher system. We need the bigger pump because the bigger pump can give more pressure than the smaller one to the launcher. Bigger launcher needed because it can store more air pressure from the pump to be released for the red car to move in a long distance and direction. Then water can be changed to Coca-Cola to give the car more acceleration. So, in conclusion, this drag car event was held with so much fun for everyone. But there are some challenges for students to create a drag car. To create it, one need to think of the force created to drive the car to the maximum speed and the distance. It is strongly influenced by the shape of the car. It resistant, it weights, the kind of launcher, the amount of pressure, and also the other things. Therefore, it is necessary to consider all the aforementioned factors and find a fix for the issue in order to the drag car to be released flawlessly and in a timely manner. In addition, group cooperation is a crucial for the car to assemble neatly and the project to proceed smoothly from the idea generation stage to completion. That's all from our group. Thank you for watching our video.